Hello YouTube, it's your friend Angel Wolf back with another tutorial video for modding Elden Ring. So this video will cover installing the unofficial expansion along with the seamless co-op mod. Uh, previously I had a video up on this subject, but I found it had some issues, so I'm redoing it here. So if you followed my previous video, this video will fix the problem. Uh, first thing is you need to start the game. If you've never started it before, you have to create a save game. So start the game up, load up a new character, or um, if you've already done all that, you're ready to go. Uh, load up a character, lo load into the world, and exit out of the game. So the first thing we're going to install, and by the way here, unofficial expansion is here. It's installed already, but it's disabled, and it's not there in the mods folder as you can see on the in the game folder i just put it there to make it a uh, little little faster in installing i don't have to wait around for it to reinstall from the zip file so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install seamless i'm going to drop that right in there and now seamless is set up and we're going to go back to our game folder and there it is. We have Seamless Co-op here. Launch Elden Ring Seamless Co-op here, which we're going to run right now. And wait for the game to load up. Right. Now when you press the button, you're still going to get the uh, privacy policy information. And then it's going to say, Welcome to the beta of Seamless Co-op for Elden Ring. This is a free mod. If you have paid for any launchers or packages with this mod, you've been scammed. The mod uses a separate save and does not connect to the matchmaking servers. It does not contain an anti-cheat. Therefore, it protects you from being banned. So now that that's done, you can see Seamless Co-op Mod version down here running in the corner. We're going to create a new game, create a new character, uh, set my camera wide because this is the game I'm going to be playing. And I'm just going to choose a basic hero. And I'm going to call him Tolgard. Tolgard, that sounds good. And we'll start them up. I'll skip over the opening video because we don't need to see that. And it tells you how to create the uh, party in Seamless Co-op. You use the tiny great pot to create a party. Other players may join by using the effigy of Melenia. They must know the session password. All players will take the role of host of fingers, and any objectives completed as a party will save to each player's world. To end the cooperative play, use the separating mist. If the session host uses this item, the party will be disbanded. So that's how you do it. And we're in our game now. And there's my character swinging his axe, having fun. My camera feels reversed, even though I said not reversed. Nope. Am I not doing it for mouse and keyboard? Ah, that's why. There we go. That's better. Okay. So now that we've created it, we've created our save game. We're going to do a couple of things here. We just got to wait for the game to finish closing out. It's perfectly normal for it to do this. It takes a while to shut down. And there we are. Back in the game in Vortex. So we're going to open up back up our downloads folder. And we're going to grab Elden Mod Loader. Drop that in. An Elden Mod Loader is just a simple little uh, DLL file that launches with the game that tells it to launch any DLLs that it finds in the Mods folder. 
So we're going to edit this guy. We're going to right click on it here in Vortex, open the file manager, and we're going to right click here in the panel, and we're going to create a new folder called mods. There it is. And then we can go into that folder. And we're going to go over here to our game. Nope. We want our game folder. And we're going to double click on Seamless Co-op. We're going to grab the two files, DLL and the INI file. And we're going to drag them over here into the Vortex Mods folder. And then we're going to close both of these. And we're going to deploy again. And when it does that, you're going to get external changes. You want to confirm that you deleted two files. They were deleted from one folder and moved to another folder. Now that that's all set up, the final thing is to install the unofficial expansion, which I can do just by enabling and redeploying. So now that that's launched, we go back to our game folder. Where is it? Oh, I closed it. I closed it. My bad. There we are. And now we're going to launch Elden Ring using this launch mod, Elden Ring.bat. So you can right click on that and send to desktop create shortcut. I've already created one, so I don't need to use that. But I can also just launch it right from here, which I'm going to do right now. And as you can see, you now see Elden Ring unofficial expansion here in the title. And if you press any button, it's going to say, Welcome to the Seamless Co-op Beta. It's a free mod. If you paid OK, OK, and the game should be ready to go. If you continue from here, and we're back to our where we were. And we've got Seamless Co-op, and we've got uh, the unofficial expansion running. So I think that'll do it. I'm going to end the video here. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.